When I first found out about this story, I was in disbelief. I was shocked. I thought it was too good to be true. But the reality is, this is what is happening right now. And frankly, it's truly astounding. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. 2022 is going to be an amazing year, by the way. Thank you to the Patreon supporters of this channel. You make this channel what it is. I really appreciate your support, every one of you. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon account. If you want to jump on and support the channel this year, that would be sensational. Now, CATL and Tesla, I have talked during this, the last, I don't know, since I started this channel eight months ago, on a number of occasions on how this partnership between CATL and Tesla was a serious game changer for both companies. And frankly, I didn't realize just how quickly CATL would build this factory. Truly, I'm still in a little bit of disbelief. I mean, how on earth they did this this fast? Everyone's been talking about, right, for the last, I don't know, year, how insanely quickly Tesla built their factory in Shanghai and then ramped up to having, well, potentially the world's largest car factory with the most production in the space of 12 months. And they're only going to increase that this year significantly by about another 50%, I believe, from the numbers that I've seen. However, the fact that CHL have built a battery factory that apparently has been manufactured in the space of three months and is now at 60% of full capacity, to be honest, what the hell? I mean, seriously, this is insane. Now, CATL are already supplying batteries to Tesla from their new facility only a few blocks away from Giga Shanghai. This factory, right, is going to be the world's largest battery factory. It's going to provide 70 gigawatt hours of batteries. Apparently, most of those are going to go to Tesla. And apparently, they've already hit 60% production. I, this report just sounds too good to be true. But this is what people are saying is happening. Now, the plant is in the capacity ramp up phase and it's already at approximately 60% of its designed capacity. And that's in three months from having just flat earth, three months. I, I don't know how this is possible. Now, months after construction began on CATL's new battery factory project near Tesla's Giga Shanghai, the plant is already supplying batteries to the electric vehicle maker, again, demonstrating the insane speed in China. This has to worry you a little bit, right? If you don't live in China, if you live somewhere else, you have to be thinking, if they can do this, what else can they do? Now, CATL's plant in Linyang, Shanghai, started supplying Tesla's factory a few blocks away in November 2021, local media outlet Shanghai Observer reported today. The report cited a CATL source as saying that the plant is in the capacity ramp up phase and has already achieved 60% of its designed capacity, which by the way is 70 gigawatt hours. Its capacity, full capacity is meant to be 70 gigawatt hours. Now the Linyang Group, which is responsible for managing the area, there's a business plant in that area, has set up a task force for CATL's new plant and found an existing facility at a suitable location for the company, according to this report in China. Now, the plant standards, including length, width, and height, met CATL's requirements and required only some interior renovations and minor modifications to start production, saving it seven to eight months, according to the report. So, here is the smart part. Rather than build the factory, as was claimed CATL would do, and this is what I thought was going to happen, Instead, they found an existing factory that actually met their exact requirements. On August the 18th last year, CATL and the Shanghai Municipal Government signed a strategic cooperation framework agreement to build a manufacturing base. CATL aimed to build a project in Shanghai that includes a global innovation center, an international function headquarters, a future energy research institute, and a high-end manufacturing base, according to an announcement by the company at the time. Now, CATL and Tesla apparently will deepen their cooperation in an area of cutting edge new energy technology research and innovative applications, urban transportation, electrification transformation, 
and new energy high-end talent cultivation, the announcement said. Now, the agreement was signed at the time with CATL by Lin Yang Group, who manages the new Lin Yang area that is home to Tesla's Giga Shanghai. It's literally just down the road from Giga Shanghai. Now, CATL is China's largest battery company. It's the world's largest battery company. They installed 11.5 gigawatt hours in China alone in November. That means they took a 55% market share of the Chinese battery market in November, according to the China Automotive Battery Innovation Alliance. In second place was BYD with about 17% of the Chinese market. Now, if you still don't think that Tesla has a huge competitive advantage over, well, pretty much everyone else in the industry, even honestly, I mean, even those in China, realistically, the volumes that Tesla are ordering from CATL mean they are definitely getting a discount of some sort. The fact that CATL has essentially set up this battery factory that's going to be capable of producing 70 gigawatt hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries and who knows what else potentially 4180 battery cells as well and the fact that it was actually come online within the space of three months i mean literally literally three months after the announcement was first made i don't know how they've done this but but realistically this is a massive competitive advantage to tesla over its rivals because Tesla plans on ramping up production at this plant. I believe they'll be at a run rate by the end of next year of about 1 million cars per year coming from this plant. And I think really one of the most important factors we need to consider here is how many Tesla Model 2s or Model A's can they produce in 2023, 24, 25, etc. When Tesla have massive battery supply from CATL, I mean, you're not going to get batteries cheaper from anyone else in the world. When they're getting lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL, which is literally only kilometers the parts are coming from China. I know BYD make everything, well, most of what goes into the car themselves have their own batteries. But honestly, this level, this level of battery supply, this level going to one company, this is a massive competitive advantage for Tesla. And realistically, if you still don't believe in the company, well, it's time for you to reconsider. Thanks for watching the channel and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.